Hi, my name is Anjali and I'm representing Clinicor, a digital health company that aims to ensure that heart failure patients are on the right medications. As an MD MBA student, my passion from this for this problem stems from experiences working in the hospital with heart failure patients. Heart failure is a huge problem. It is the number one diagnosis in elderly hospitalized patients and costs the nation more than $70 billion per year. There's been an incredible amount of research done to develop blockbuster drugs that are collectively known as guideline directed medical therapy or GDMT. This four drug regimen requires close monitoring and dose adjustments every two weeks until a goal is achieved. These treatments are incredibly effective and patients who achieve this goal have a 70% readmission reduction rate. However, titrating these drugs is a time and labor intensive process that requires frequent medication changes and monitoring for adverse effects. The landmark CHAMP-HF trial showed that only 1% of patients are on appropriate therapy. And I'm gonna say that one more time, despite knowing and having the right treatments, only 1% of patients are on them. That's where our solution comes in. We're building a digital prescription only GDMT clinic to optimize heart failure patient therapy. Essentially, we're creating a software that increases a cardiologist's reach to be able to manage medications they didn't have time to before. Our software will track our patient's symptoms at home and then suggest medication adjustments for a nurse or pharmacist to implement under the direction of a cardiologist. This way, patients will be at home on optimal medication instead of struggling to breathe in the hospital. Penn Cardiology and the Penn Center for Innovation are interested in a pilot study, and we're currently looking for a CEO and other um, members um, to create a leadership team. If interested, please contact me. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First off, thank you for your interest, your support, and your time in, in attending tonight. My name is Andre Diamond, and I'm the CEO and founder of Gray Oncology Solutions. So what we do at Gray is we provide software that allows a cancer center to optimize the way that a patient moves through their cancer treatment. And specifically, I'm referring to the logistics of how they move through their treatment rather than the clinical decision support side. So often cancer centers are relatively siloed units where you have chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery operating semi-independently of one another, even though they're connected by the constant being the patient. So we provide a platform that automates and optimizes that entire process from start to finish, ensuring all of the resources are being used as efficiently as possible. We can be as transparent as possible with the patient regarding their appointments and ensuring that the patients are being treated as quickly as possible. We're currently deployed in a number of centers in Canada, and we're looking for innovative centers both across other provinces in Canada and the United States looking to deploy as a pilot partner. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Martina Janikova, a CEO and founder of Lara Health. There are over 40 new reimbursements that pay for care provided virtually, yet majority of doctors only see patients face-to-face -face or during a video chat. Lara Health has built a turnkey solution that makes it easy to adopt virtual care tools in a medical practice by leveraging automation and AI to maximize physician revenue. With Lara Health, a doctor can add a half a million dollars a year in new revenue and actually cut 30% of the admin work they usually do. We only launched this year, but we've been signing new contracts and customers every month, seeing a zero churn to date. And last month, we passed $11,000 in monthly recurring revenue. We also recently signed a distribution agreement to access 2,700 physicians to use Lara Health. We are raising $2 million to fuel our future growth. If you've gone to the dentist, even for just a cleaning, you might have seen that we can create a model of your mouth in 3D in seconds. 3D technology is being used in dentistry every day around the world. Dental schools alone spend more than $350,000 per graduating class purely on 3D supplemental software that fails to engage students, is underutilized, and does not improve learning outcomes. I know because I was a dental student. My name is Jules Mann. I'm now a practicing dentist, and for the past five years, I have heard my community asking for better, to learn better, and to communicate better with our patients, which is why we built Modal the 3D communication platform for learning and teaching and sharing. 
Modal accomplishes this by utilizing cloud-based 3D modeling technology, ensuring that our user's content is accessible anytime, anywhere, and on any device. We provide 3D education material, such as what you're seeing here, with an atlas of images verified by dental professionals. And most importantly, we allow users to create their own content from our library of 3D images, whether that is study material, staff training, or a lecture for the classroom, such as you're seeing here. It could even be patient education, allowing users to upload their own 3D images. Modal supports students before they're even in school, enabling them to subscribe to a product that they will utilize throughout their career, not just as a dental student, but as a dentist. The future of dentistry is in 3D. Thank you so much. One in four people will have a stroke but the damage can be minimized if it is detected in time. Hi, my name is Eric Corkill, CEO of NeuroAlert Technologies. Already designated by the FDA as a breakthrough device, NeuroAlert is the first non-invasive real-time stroke monitor that will save hundreds of millions of people from either death or severe disability. NeuroAlert automates stroke detection using lightweight, non-invasive wristbands that constantly monitor for stroke symptoms. Now, these bands send their data to a patented algorithm that is constantly looking for stroke symptoms. And when a stroke does occur, the system automatically generates an alert so help can be sped to the victim. We're in the process of raising a $1.5 million seed round so we can complete clinical testing and be granted a license by the FDA. Our expert team of neurologists, PhDs, and business executives want NeuroAlert bans on anybody who has a risk of stroke and worn in the hospital, in the office, or in the home. Please help us end the devastation that is caused when a stroke is not detected in time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Connor, CEO of Opal HTM. You and I are truly fortunate to live in an era of high-tech healthcare. Visit any hospital today and you'll find it brimming with cutting edge technology. There are devices to help diagnose, treat, comfort, monitor, and so much more. But it's possible to have too much of a good thing. See, every year hospitals in the US spend $32 billion on medical equipment and upkeep, but those devices end up sitting idle 58% of the time. And on top of that, each device is rigorously maintained as if it were used around the clock. These inefficiencies drain precious healthcare resources, and they stem from one core obstacle. Hospitals have no reliable way to track how or even if their equipment is being utilized. That's where Opal HDM comes in. Our patented sensor modules interface directly with medical devices to track where, when, and how often equipment is used. Think about it like the odometer that tracks mileage in your car. This simple idea makes a huge impact because we can analyze this usage data to uncover patterns and pinpoint inefficiencies. With Opal HTM, our customers can safely reduce inventories by 25% and cut maintenance workloads in half, putting millions of dollars back into their budgets and reclaiming staff time that can be directed towards improving patient care. All told, this technology is poised to make a $9.2 billion impact. Right now, Opal HTM is at an exciting inflection point, and we're seeking passionate collaborators. So if you're an innovator or investor, or if you're in healthcare and you'd like to see this technology in your health system, then get in touch and join us in transforming healthcare technology management for the better. Thank you. Of the 36 million Americans hospitalized each year, one of the leading causes of preventable death are venous clots, or clots that develop in the deep veins of the body. These clots have a death rate as high as 30% and carry a cost burden of over $12 billion annually. Patients at highest risk are those who have just undergone surgery like a joint replacement, with most clots occurring after leaving the hospital. To decrease hospital stays and costly readmissions, post-op care must evolve to address these complications in the outpatient setting. I'm Dr. Erica Dillard, founder and CEO of PopCheck Technologies, where our mission is to make recovery for all patients stress-free. And we will do this through our AI-empowered remote monitoring technology.
Our device will not only more effectively prevent clots, but is capable of identifying abnormal biomarker patterns concerning for clots. Through a remote monitoring platform, the device communicates real-time changes in patient risk so the healthcare team can make a more informed decision about patient management. This encourages earlier diagnosis and treatment while offering providers an opportunity for additional revenue. To learn more, please visit us at popcheckTechnologies.com. Thank you. We've all heard of the four vital signs, pulse, respiratory rate, body temperature, and body pressure. Today, we'll be unveiling the fifth, the vital sign for well-being by Vital Start. Our initial focus is on maternal mental health, an area that's really close to my heart and one with clear gaps. We may have heard of someone with a tough pregnancy and postpartum, but did you know close to 65,000 near-death experiences occur every year, one third of which is attributed to mental health. I know because I myself have been through postpartum depression. Hi everyone, I'm Kirtika Parmeshwaran, a Wharton alum with deep expertise across technology and business, and I am the founder of Vital Start Health. Hi, I'm John Chu, one of the co-founders as well of Vital Start Health. I'm a neonatologist and associate professor of clinical pediatrics at the University of Pennsylvania. We have developed the first personalized telemedicine platform for maternal health using virtual reality. We provide coaching and psychotherapy for mothers and families across the pregnancy and postpartum continuum. Our system is based on sound clinical management best practices, and we have structured our services and business model so that we can deliver services and be equitable to all. We are a University of Pennsylvania company supported by the University Science Center, Microsoft for Startups, the Comcast Connect program, and we are excited to go after this $18 billion opportunity. Join us.